five, four, three, two, one. Hi guys, welcome back to Lina. It's your host Ardi. It's your host Dol. It's Rashmita. And your chica Bursa. Knuckle <laughs> body, Well, you know. So today we're going to be talking about our education and career and why it didn't go as we planned it. Yep. So, like, some of the questions that we are going to try to cover are like, um, what we thought we wanted to do, what and how it went wrong, and like, what subjects we took for like that career path at that time. And yeah. Okay. So I guess I'll start. Bar second start. I'll start. So growing up. <laughs> Okay, once upon, a time. once upon a time, when I was a young child, I really wanted, do you know what I really wanted to be, but it's not likely? What? A spy? <laughs> <laughs> the option is there, you know. Am I, am I five? Out? Am I six? Look out. I mean, you know, hit me up. We always kind of talk about this for some reason. It's because yeah. we watch too many spy movies. <laughs> no, it's because, like, no, it's because Barsha loves that kind of movie. I do, but and I feel like I've been getting some hints yeah, here and there. Yeah, she always gets like weird hints, you guys, like governmental hints. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like if you're watching MI5, like him, hit your girl up, you know, I'm ready. <laughs> She's going to be very good. You just need to train her. She just... I'll be a good like... um. <laughs> Not like that, but more like I can. I really like the whole <laughs> cover up, got it, any fake uh, identity, and go and like this the gear. I mean, imagine that. She just needs a chance, basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay, let's get to that. So, I mean, not to that, but so I guess we've kind of broke it down. So, starting off, we're each going to talk about uh, what we wanted to be or what we thought we wanted to be growing up, and then for that, what subjects we took, and last but not least, why and what and why it went wrong. Okay. So, besides the whole spy thing, <laughs> um, I don't. It's not something that I wanted to do. It's something that like because you know, growing up, especially mm. in our kind of culture, <laughs> society, and then um, so, uh, one of the kind of suggestions that I was given by my parents was to go into nursing because you know, about you came out the nursing group and it's three three year course and you. After you leave, you go straight into Kamsa uh, and uh, which of course it makes sense why they wanted you to go into that, why they wanted me to go into that. Um, so that was the advice I was given. So I think I kind of knew that in nursing to go no month in at but I still went for it because I didn't know what else to do. Um, so for that, I took um, college Matsi. I took health and social care, which of course relates to the whole nursing thing, but I also took photography and travel and tourism, which obviously does <laughs> completely not... Completely different. Completely different. And I think the reason was because part of me always liked the whole creative side, like cr- mm. enjoy that creative mm. thing that's there. So there's that. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so basically... It's not something that what I thought I wanted to do, but I just kind of followed that on. Um, so after that... So, okay, we talked about the subject. So why and what and why it went wrong, the juicy bit. (laughs) So I guess for me, um, so I went through our college bio and I went on to applying for universities and I actually had a place, uh, I was offered a place from Buckinghamshire New University in High Wycombe, but the Finn Nursing Campus was in Oxbridge. Um, And then even, I remember like going to my interview and talking to dad, we're like, I think eating McDonald's or something. (laughs) And I said to him like, I don't know if this is the right path for me. Um, At the time, what he said was, you know, just give it a go. You've been given this chance in us. Uh, you're not, you're going to just give it a go. Otherwise, you're going to regret it. So for that reason, I kind of was like, okay, I'll stick to it. I'll go ahead with it. Um, so before going into nursing, um, I, I just said, okay, F it. I'll go into it. Only before even actually starting the whole thing, I was there was still a bit of like, mm, should I? Is this mm. the right path for me? Uh, but then I went to, I went for it. And then I already knew, I think, Parts of me already knew that yeah. it was not for me, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was like, okay, I'll just wait until placement. Because placement was obviously you get oh, the you hands-on get, yes. experience. So I was like, I'll see. And, you know, Kosovo, there's maybe I'll change my mind. Mm-hmm. But honestly, it just made it worse. <laughs> because I think after like a couple of weeks of placement, I literally called my parents and I broke down and cried. Aww. I was like, it's not for me. 
But uh, um, do you know what though? I feel like sometimes, and I have talked with parents uh, about this as well. Sometimes I feel like if I had, um, let's say, if I had gone into nursing at this age, mm-hmm. I probably would have stuck to it. But at the time, I was like, because I'm the youngest in the group, my birthday is like in July, Masanda. Mm-hmm. So I was like 17 year old, just recently turned 18. Somebody who's grown up with family, surrounded by like, it's always been sheltered, kind of pushed into the because a big city world and where I stayed was in central London as well and I think another reason sometimes I feel like I would have stayed in Sydney another reason is the fact that Amro the main university campus is in High Wycombe that are your nursing college matrice is in yeah. Oxbridge so you'd have to like travel yeah that. especially if you want to live in a student accommodation then you had to live in High Wycombe and then travel back and forth uh, for me and the advice that was given by senior Didi who was already going to the uni was to live in another accommodation uh, which was near Charing Cross Charing Cross Hospital, go to go uh, accommodation. That was the way it's a um. The postigara when I did my placement, then it would have been easier, and it was easier. Thought that also meant that I was. I mean, it was a student accommodation, but it also meant that I was living with like 35, 60 year old people. Oh, so like um, kind of like those other students or like um. Adults, yeah, who were doing like um, proper doctor, or like or PhDs and, yeah. and like masters in like the medical field of it. Yeah. So it was so difficult. So which is why I think then if I had lived in maybe like student or gay like mm. middle school, then I would have been comfortable. But I was so uncomfortable. I felt yeah. really isolated, very lonely. I had like cereals for dinner. That was my favorite. <laughs> But then you like, and it was like shared bathroom and shared every like mm. toilets, and it was just so yeah different for me. Which is why sometimes I feel like if I had gone to university at this age, I feel like I would have stuck to it. But uh, yeah, that was my experience, and that's why it went wrong. Um, oh my god! Following that, I totally forgot about some, you know, going to fashion. And that's fine. <laughs> so like okay, you did, so. you did nursing for like. A year, right? Not even, Not even a year. Half a year. So basically, um, so September intake deal. So I started in September. Uh, placement started around January, February time, I believe. Ani, uh, and I said, like I said, I wanted to wait until placement. So placement started going past there. I was like, okay, this wasn't for me. So yeah. I think by the time I left, it was like uh, December. F- no, February. Oh, February. Okay. So like, let's say I went to nursing. September 2013 mm. by February end of February beginning of March 2014 I was out already that is half a year <laughs> that's a half a year I lasted half a year and then uh, I was like I didn't really want to waste a whole year you know mm-hmm. about UK school was already closed mm-hmm. and I was like oh Fidi if I leave Gori when if Fidi I'm gonna regret it um, once I come out of the whole education kind of energy or yeah. vibe or whatever then I may not ever go back into it but any matter worry still this is I was like okay you know what I really want to do something let's just go I'm going to try to get into another uni doing another course in September of that year so I left in 2014 February March and I wanted to get into another university September 2014 which is quite difficult um and then yeah so I was like okay what subject do I want to take and it was literally so random because like fashion I mean I've always been interested in fashion yeah. but uh um yeah i do you know that's one regret i have like not that i studied fashion but i wish i did more research um. like listening kiki what the other opportunities out there bonera so yeah i did fashion and then like for somebody who had no fashion background i literally <laughs> had to like i went back to college and i spoke to one of the teachers there and i was yeah. like okay this is what i want to do can you help me out uh, it, I mean, he helped me out, but it wasn't much help. Mm. <laughs> so I literally had to buy my own sewing machine, kinera, and put portfolio on the porn Yeah, Jesus. I remember like back when oh. she like made her portfolio, getting ready for like the new interview that she was gonna go take for fashion her fashion degree. It was a struggle, and then yeah. because especially no, you know, no experience and nothing like that. So I literally YouTube my hair. They got it going. YouTube, they just like literally, I would just measure against my body yeah. and then do it. Um, so that was that, and then yeah, so uni sudo got it. I think begin not even the beginning, the end of first year, I knew that fashion wasn't the path that I wanted to take, mm. but I had already disappointed my parents once already by dropping out. I didn't want to drop out, so which is why I carried on. Mm. Um, that's the reason. And a three years complete boy, boy, um. So, like I said, you know how I didn't really want to go stick to fashion and all that, which is why I decided to study further and go into master's. And mainly, I think, because 
I wasn't ready for adulthood. <laughs> yes, that is like, exactly <laughs> what she said. Like, guys, I'm not ready to be an adult yet, so I'm just yeah. going to study more. <laughs> and then part of me was like also saying to my, I spoke to parents then and I said, oh, must go to Kinai. And then they said, oh, it's only a year, just give it a go. And then he, even if you don't use the qualification, it's kind of like something that you have mm. obtained. Yeah. Yeah. So for that reason, I went on to doing masters and masters because they, I did fashion branding and marketing because I wanted to kind of go away from the fashion world and enter the marketing world yeah so like the more business side to it and like what goes underneath it all and I did enjoy uh, marketing because I'm a second year of fashion we did one seminar like literally it was one month two month on business related studies and it, it literally went so quick and after that I was like okay I want to kind of pursue this on as well so that's what happened Ani should I go on to after that yeah yeah no okay um so you've gone to like doing uni like uh nursing and then you didn't want to do that so you figured that you want to do fashion and then on the first year of fashion doing the end of first year end of first year you also realized that oh it was not the path that you wanted to take but wanted to stick to it because like um you felt like you would disappoint your parents again but you completed it and then like the year after again you were not ready to adult (laughs) So, I mean, I'm still not. <laughs> so you decided to do your master's. Um, yeah. So what are you currently doing outside of like our small project here at Lina that we do? So after that, oh my God, it, it's so weird. It is a very long journey. There are like a lot of ins and outs okay. that's gone in, but like we'll try to make it short. Okay, I'll guess. try to make it really short. So I finished my master's 2018 December. After that, uh, the advice that I was given by literally uh, like former students who had graduated, got into the working field, as well as my managers who had already um, didn't graduated and gone straight to working. Literally, yeah. all the advice I was given was, um, don't go straight into job because you're mm. going to regret it. Take a time. You take a year off. Go travel. Just explore. Blah, blah, blah. And then all that, you know, hippie shit. I think. <laughs> And he, so for that reason, like me and my friend, we went to Nepal. It was randomly Nepal go to Ekmoina Bitayana. It was mwah, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Never wanted to come back because you guys were Snapchatting me like guys it's snowing and I was there like yeah, ah, it's 17 oh degrees. The Rati Titi Sutio. But um so yeah, so I uh, did that. But during that time, while I was studying at my masters, I was doing two years and two years from that. Like Jimmy Mac I'm worthy fake, yeah. Like mm. So So after I came back from Nepal, which was February of 2019, um, I still worked at GP. And GP, I think I worked until mid-June, July, when I figured, oh shit, my graduate, I'm six months, I need to go into work now. I think that's enough rest time. Yeah. And then uh, for that reason, I was marketing. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go marketing. Literally, like, at that time, like, qualification doesn't really matter because it was all about experience, especially nowadays. Uh, so for between I so I left GP because uh, GP might say Monday to Friday kind of weekdays my and in place in Kalaipani you needed to be available for weekdays okay basically I left that and I went on to doing so I did my internship at this company called Nietzsche in London um, and if I see during that time I would unpaid to you I mean they paid for my travel and food mm. so it's not enough to you know go out and have yeah. fun basically <laughs> <laughs> just as a part time I worked at Next as, as a sales consultant assistant whatever you call it um, and then at the moment, I made I end of last year, end of like November, December 2019, I finished my internship. The Selimo, I this is still next month. So I'm looking for something about full time to say, Monday to Friday, or about Kihun, or Kihun, or Kihun, or Kihun, or that's my short story. Short and sweet story. Yeah, well, I don't think Not it was really that short. short. <laughs> So, okay, let's go to the next person. That was was like a lot of details. Yeah, because I'm going to ramble on. I'm not going to be that detailed. (laughs) I I just talk too much. (laughs) Which is a good thing. Is it? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you go next then, Rash. Should I? Yes. Do you want someone different? (laughs) What do you mean someone (laughs) different? (laughs) I can rest now. (laughs) Hmm... Okay, start with what did you think you wanted to go into, like, when like, you were growing up? Uh, like, any Nepalese parents would want the child to go into, they wanted me to go into nursing, like you, every one of us. <laughs> but <laughs> it makes what, sense, yeah. you know, why they said that, mm. because of course they want you to have a good future, a secure mm. future, and mm. a secure yeah. job. Mm. But the thing was, when I was in college, I didn't get into any, any uni. Because mm. I used to always 
fail at the interview section of the <laughs> process into getting uh-huh. to uni. Yeah. Stay tuned. So I can't we'll talk a... at all. <laughs> we'll have a video on that. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll have, have like a separate video highlighting like the do's and don'ts of like yeah. the yeah. uni process and everything like from our experience. So we'll mm-hmm. kind of share that with you guys as well. Yeah. Do you feel nervous when you go to interview? Because I do. Yeah. Hell, I think yeah. everyone <laughs> does. No, but then like it's always I've always I have had... a mini panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> like even school you know when you have to do like presentations, presentations. Yeah. Oh. I used to hate it like behind like got it like a I used to like pinch my head to make like <laughs> then it get nerves down no, oh, oh god like, take my nerves somewhere else oh, oh my god my heart would be like beating so fast <laughs> like, I'm scared to do this as well. <laughs> yeah same <laughs> yeah <coughs> yes and then mm, what was I gonna say yeah, as I'm an Nepali parent. Yeah. That didn't go as planned because obviously you need Paina. So uh, next thing I did was to go into like work. What did you experience? Study in college. What subjects did you take? I, I did, um, I did, I did um, English literature, math, use of maths and health and social care. Mm. So, so just like Borsha again, yeah. a variety of like different subjects. But, but I was more into the career, nursing. yeah, nursing path. Mm. Yeah. But I guess it is very good to like still have like your options open. So like if within those college years that you decide, oh, you like one subject more than the other, you always like have that choice to kind of like fall back and say, I have at yeah. least done like one subject mm. on this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so did you do A levels or B tech? Oh, yeah. A levels. A levels, yeah. Went to the sixth form college, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so and then you didn't get into uni, you said I think, right? Oh yeah, and then I went to work straight away full time. Yeah. Mm. And then I chose a care assistant because that was like people like interviews at the heavy people used to like the way they mm. declined me was I don't have enough experience. Oh, yeah. That's, but then I know it was because of the interview. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it yeah. could be the experience thing as well. No, no. Like, people are there. Well, like same, I do know age, like yeah. a good handful yeah. of people who do get like just good grades and have no experience and yeah. do get accepted yeah. straight away as well. And but, in the UK, like experience are worth more than education. education. Yeah. 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 yeah, And another thing, my teacher, li- my teacher Libonico, you're a teacher Libonico. <laughs> advice that I will always remember is last Nogaira, whether you last Nogaira, if even if you don't have experience or qualification, you mu bonus okay one say you will get mm, that. Oh, that's yes. true. That's like true. Oh my like my teacher more. who made a fashion teacher at the time, um, who graduated in film I know. And he like for film graduate by second, but he wanted to go into fashion. Mm-hmm. He didn't know how, but somehow he, oh yeah, he used to like create his own jeans, like a denim or and in the head he'd say, oh no, he was shopping Oxford Street uh, Oxford Circus? London, somewhere. Street Circus, <laughs> London. Oxford, Oxford Market. Okay, basically, um, he was just shopping around Topman, and apparently that day, Topman, the director or somebody, who happened to be there, and then he saw the jeans, and he was like, "Oh, like I really like your jeans. Where'd you get it from?" And he said, "I made wow. it, Bonnie." You know, Ooh. and then he was like, "Oh, we would like to take that design on. Would you like to like interview, like set up, gore gore?" But he had, and he, he was like, "Oh, would you be able to come with a portfolio, bully system?" And he say, "He was like, sure, of course I can." And then it's a confidence mm. day, oh. but he had zero background, no portfolio, <laughs> nothing. But last night, Bolera, he got his own line for a short period of time, wow. Topman. Wow. Market. Damn. This is important. <laughs> you need to know how to apply. Yeah. What's mm. that saying? Fake it till you make Fake it. Fake it. Make it. <laughs> That's literally what he did. Oh my god. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We'll keep him just that. <laughs> Back to me. Oh, so yeah. you're working um, full time as a care assistant now. Yeah. How long did you do that? For? It was for a year until like I got into. I went to like. Parents were not happy with what I was mm. doing, so mm-hmm. okay. But I was quite happy there, <laughs> getting the money. Oh, yeah. yeah, ended up getting greedy, you know. <laughs> so they wanted me to go back to into studying, but like, I applied for art and design mm. and for nursing because mm-hmm. art and design. Because I did GCSE, I did art and graphic design, so I thought I might be more creative. And that <laughs> I thought I was talented in that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, but then, like, like I got places in both, but mm. this is for access because because I needed more points, I think. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. and because UCAS yeah. points. Yeah, UCAS points was not enough as well mm. to get me into a good uni. So yes, and then, well, I got um places in both, but then I thought maybe it is a sign 
like I like you know nursing, but uh, mm. like saying give it a second chance and stuff. Aww. <laughs> so I I declined the article, and then I went into the access course mm. in Guildford. Um, of it was I like, forgot about that. I yeah, forgot you were in this. Are you my friend? <laughs> what age were you that time? 18, 19, mm. probably, something like that. Um, do gorda gorda midway. I was like, oh, do I really want to do it? Wait, I think. And then, like, I sort of dropped out without telling anybody. And then, exactly, our friend Rebel. was like, so how is it going? And I was like, oh, I dropped out. Did oh, I not tell you? Oh, my days. And I went back to working again. Did you go back to the same place, Kam Gornuki? Yeah, I was there for. You were still working part time. Yeah, there, I was right? working doing the weekends. Weekend, that's weekend. why. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did your parents find out? Yeah, how was their what was their like, reaction like? Okay, gotta go to I think they had given up on me by then. Maybe Aww. they're like, oh, this is not working out. Mm. This daughter not good. Yeah, Aww, <laughs> gonna that. focus on my second daughter. <laughs> So then what happened? What steps did you take after that? So after that, I was like, do I really want to go study again? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know why I did. I went, I went back to studying. But like, I could have just ended up working, you know? Did you feel, did you like feel that pressure? The, yeah, studying probably. pressure was more from your parents rather than you willingly going to study? Yeah, probably, because they want me to wear the calotopia and all that, you know? Mm. <laughs> Nepali society, they just... On that color mm. to pee. But I don't think it's that. I don't think it's because the Nepali parents want that. I think I don't point up one anyway. It's because well it's because of that job and yeah. Yeah. They 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 you. You. They you. Well, like you like somebody. So um parents of course they didn't have this opportunity, you know, mm. it's the yeah. situation where I grew up boy and mm. So the for the fact that about well, I'm a majority of the parents are the Nepal but I go, Gao yeah. but I go and all. So for them to work hard and get to where they are, they wanna provide that opportunity but I got it so and they want to see that because right? I think it's a reflection on them as well yeah. Yeah. got to say my list so all the hard work that I did it paid off type yeah, whole other salary exactly. maybe but also color to be because I see so many <laughs> I see so many like you know like kids graduate but then the parents are wearing the trophy and they oh take photos it's, <laughs> it's cute it. it's kind of cute but yeah also I don't think I wanted to go into the path of nursing because you see so much bad and good <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I thought, um, maybe I don't want to do this. Yes. So I talked to my parents saying, I don't want to do this. I'm going to do my own thing. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I went back into college again. <laughs> I did um access course for art because I didn't have the right qualification to get into uni. Mm, okay. Yeah. So I did that. And I graduated, graduated, completed the degree. Degree? Like <laughs> what that. are you saying? Course? Course? Yeah. Course. Yeah. The access course. Yeah. But yeah, diploma. Yeah, that's what it's called. And then after that, I didn't know what to do for uni. Like, couldn't subject Lini and all that. But graphic design, I did that because it's like, you don't need to be very talented at drawing, which... <laughs> Oh, wow, all the graphic design students are like, wow, all right, let's do that. <laughs> well, there are talented people, but then for me, that's what I thought. Because <laughs> you do a lot of work in the computer. Mm, yeah. I see. Not like hardly, you know, just mm, computer. Yeah, there is a computer, man, like Illustrator and stuff like that. So that's what I decided to do for the next three years, which I didn't complete again. <laughs> So, like, you went into uni after you finished your access course to do yeah. the um, graphics designer degree, right? Which is a three years course. Three years, And then yeah. um, how many, when was, like, the turning point for you and that? Probably the first year, like, more so. Cool. I think, like, you, I think I only stuck to it because you were there. You were there. You know, my teacher, like, at one point she came to talk to me. She was, she, like, she was like, um... I don't see you very much often. <laughs> oh dear God! In the class, are you alright? Oh. Like, she was even she even asked like, are you getting bullied and stuff? Because oh. I was I wouldn't be in as much. Why? Yeah, because of that. You know, I could like a teacher. Like, say, are you getting bullied? Are you? Like, I don't talk much as well, so I used oh. to be in my little corner by myself. Yeah. Oh. Oh. But you had that it... arc of friends, I know. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have anybody. <laughs> I only had you. So basically, we didn't go to the same. We didn't go study the same course, but, but we I was already like, in uni, and, us. Yeah. So and she we came stayed to that in the same, same apartment. Oh. So, 
Oh. So after I yeah. left, it was my fault, was it? <laughs> you left me behind, hanging. Oh, sorry. So do you think, like, if you had a friend, you would have stuck around, or like? <laughs> to know. Don't but then they're a heart, uh, heart. <laughs> they're like, one tier. No, I know. But subject was already like. Yeah, and then she used to be like, "What's your passion, Rasmita?" Got it upon me. And I'm like, "I don't know. I don't have no passion. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't I don't know what to do in my life." I was like, oh, "What am I even meant to do?" And I was getting sad. And <laughs> 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 Uh, anyway, let me break that down for you guys. Um, so yes, she did. Uh, like two years in you. Well, the fir- at the end of the first year, she had already kind of like made her mind that it was not what she wanted to do. And like one of her um hanging point for in uni was because like Barsha was there. Like they were like going to the same uni. They were like living in like the same building, which made it a bit more comfortable for Rashmita mm. because like oh at least like you need my sati so I know and I guess a little bit parents are go about the pressure I don't know she was like you know as long as I can I will try to stay what let's say she stayed until like the second year but then like on the third year Barsha would have already graduated and oh, that no, second year my it was so our oh yeah second year I'm yeah. sorry yeah we <laughs> had like, another friend <laughs> we had another friend um Borja had already left by the second year. Yeah. And then on the second year, Rashmita was there with Amra Arkosati. And then on third year, um, she kind of <gasps> dropped out, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go. She explained it more clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so after you've dropped out from uni, from this uh, deciding that you didn't want to take on this degree, what did you do? Did you go back to working? Did you take time off? No, I didn't work for a while. Hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't work for a while, but then I went back into um, sales assistant job. Mm. Okay. Like, it was like a, I guess, I need to get back into yeah. the right path or back to life. Mm. <laughs> as long as, like, you're yeah, doing still, something. like, building your blocks and mm. just slowly getting around to it, it's mm-hmm. good. Yeah. That sums I, it up. <laughs> at least you tried. Yeah, yeah, because there is no what if one is yeah. At least you tried nursing and you realized it wasn't for you, and you yeah. tried graphic design and mm. you realized it wasn't for you. I guess the moral of my story was do your research, and your story was like health comes before within the pressure of like mm. other man's ego. Now look yeah. at yourself first, and then do what feels right. I guess. Mm. <laughs> okay, so, so um, oh, sorry. currently. <laughs> oh my God. Finished. Just like cutting off. <laughs> All right, I'm not good at explaining, but yeah, I want to say. Oh, I forgot. You know how you say like, oh, she's worked. She worked as sales assistant. I think that was like, okay, <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, what do you do at the moment? Um, currently working as a pharmacy assistant, and it's funny how I actually ended up getting back into the like the health field of things. Yeah, right? yeah. Circle, yeah. Huh? Yeah. It is very back and forth with you, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Like, Maybe I'll I go back like... into art again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is sort of say. art. This is sort of oh, art. Yeah. yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this this is a very creative it's not, field. It's not leaving me behind. Yeah. yeah. So, hmm. Yeah. So have some passion, like my teacher said. But that's the thing. It's so difficult what to find out what your passion is. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know yeah. what I'm doing. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Fully moving forward to door. No. Yes. What do we know? We're going to go in order. Oh, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so growing up, um, you know, like people early, they always wanted to be like what doctor, nurse and like whatever. But mm-hmm. I never had that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like growing up because I was the last child. So like, I don't know, like Yonza. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> baby of the family. So you didn't have pressure or? What's the one I idea? don't know, like... um. <laughs> Go on, tell us. I never knew what I was gonna do, okay? Like, cause like, I, the way I think is, I don't think about future. I just think about present. Mm. So like, obviously, with that, so I didn't know what to do. So in college, I did level three, level three mm. BTEC, health and social care, mm-hmm. a diploma. Yes. Course. Um. So I did that course to be adult nurse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then, um, kill now. <laughs> <laughs> so you finished the course and you applied for uni? Yeah, I applied for uni. And then upper college, man, you get like five choices to apply mm, for uni. Yeah. I think I got offer from, I think, one or two unis. Mm-hmm. But then like, um, you know, like nursing with nursing, um, nursing 
interview. Yeah, I yeah. guess when you go for an interview, you have to do maths and English test. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> which I failed. <laughs> so after that, I was like, I, I gave up. <laughs> so like the whole experience kind of threw you yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. So like, because like obviously, um, maths and English, they like you do it in get in school de- school days, mm. not in college days. So like, I I guess. Like practice point, they were oh. yeah. And so. you know how you said like you didn't really have that. Oh, I wanted to be a nurse or a doctor, blah blah blah. But you still chose health and social care and wanted to go into nursing. Was that because what was that? Because you got that right inspiration. I was it because people I think around you was good? yeah. I think most yeah. people were doing nursing and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and like it's easier to easier to find job in like NHS. Mm-hmm. I guess yeah, maybe like there's always jobs in like the healthcare sector. Yeah. yeah. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, um, you didn't get into uni. Did you go into, like, working after that? Yeah, I went, uh, I think, when was it? When do you apply for uni? Ooh. We, I went, <laughs> it's from, uh, it was October, October November, September, November, November time? Yeah. November to January time. Yeah, because it closes normally. You can go application So, when I finished college, I applied for uni. I didn't get it. Mm. So, it was, like, I think... It would have been around like November, September, or September, September October, I think. October, November yeah, yeah. time. Mm-hmm. So on November that year, I applied for a job. Because like, like, you know, back in college days, like, you got a part-time job and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. I didn't do any of that. Even though I applied for it, I never got in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think because obviously they look for experience and stuff yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So after I was finished with college, mm. I applied for jobs. And then one day I just got interview and then I went to the interview and then I got the job. So. <laughs> Thank you. Simple and easy. <laughs> Did you ever like think back to like um, that you wanted to go and study or like was that not like in your mindset? Uh, I don't know. Because like obviously everyone was studying. Mm. I didn't like obviously when someone tells you like Especially parents tell you like, mm. oh, study now, otherwise you're going to regret, regret later. Yeah. Which I think I did. But then I was like, oh, oh well. But it's okay right now. Yeah, like, you can't what can time, I do? Yeah. You know? So like, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So like you're working full time now, right? Yeah. I've Are been working full time for five years now. Oh, so. <laughs> just so, but it's just, um, just curious. Uh, well, you know how like you need my Did you mm. ever think about like, oh, apprenticeship, Saruva, maybe like give that a go or did you not know about that at the time or? I did know about apprenticeship and stuff like that, but like, um, that's still like a job, isn't it? Mm. So like, but then apprenticeship, could say like money wise, it was like, not that great. Totally, it was not, yeah. it was not oh. great. Yeah. So I didn't want to be like, I don't to get into like not like commit your full time and still not get the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just wanted okay. to earn money. Okay. Money. Money, <laughs> money makes the world go round. Dough. Make some dough. Get some ice. Some money. Yeah. Okay. About the right, right. Let's Wait. hop on. I think so. <laughs> that was short. <laughs> that was and <quite> short. <laughs> Uh, okay. okay, let's hop on to the last member of Lina. Um, as like Dole said, and uh, like uh, for me as well, it was very same. Like growing up, I never knew what I wanted to be, and like uh, the same the example again. Like you would always hear people saying, like even like the people your age, they would be like, oh, I want to be doctor, engineer, yeah. like you know, like fireman, whatever, whatever. And I always just used to think like, whatever type going, any. Yeah. Like, I would, I think at that time I would think, oh, but aren't we, like, too young to kind of, like, think about mm. the future that ahead of time? Mm. Just so many lacked it. And maybe, like, one part was, of me was I was too young to kind of, like, grasp it. Mm. So, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what And maybe, like, I don't know what to do. 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 Like, never, like... Mm. Then it came across to my mind as like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna yeah. do that. Can you get like about Nepal? But he say about you don't have a lot of career in the Nepal, ma. So yeah. you don't see a lot of people who are like getting into these big jobs, big companies. You don't hear that a lot. Yeah. yeah. So there's so, no exact like direct role model here, yeah. nobody. So I think like it was only until like yeah, UK, I I started to think about it a bit more seriously. 
And I was like, oh, so people are actually have to like continue think about a career path and then do that for the rest of their life. That we're good. But it's sad. It goes back to how we said it before. You're like 16 and they mm, yeah. expect you to know what you're going to do for future. Yeah. Um, based on that, keep on your theopony. You need to know it. Now, the 16 you are so young, yeah. you guys. Yeah. Like, it's so difficult. Yeah. And like, um, I think, like, obviously, I know that you, you just hear like you go to education and mm. then uni and like, then not work. Education, like, <laughs> school college uni and then work. work yeah so like basically yeah those yeah. are like the steps that you're meant to take yeah you know, meant like, to take that's the pathway that's paved for you yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and then obviously my second sister she's the only one that went to uni so like i thought oh i could go as well <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you got inspired yeah basically yeah um and then yeah, so like at that time, what I so I was I was I to I want to do this, I want to do that. So for some reason, I just kind of chose myself like, oh, I, I want to be a child nurse. For some reason, like oh I don't God, even know even like more difficult. what the inspiration was. Like, sani thiki like my like um, I really used to like talking to children and like um, you know like this so what are you? Someone present So I just kind of said, you know, child nurse would be good. <laughs> I didn't kind of like um choose it because like I knew what um get expect on money but I just chose it just because ke yeah. ethie and in GCSE man that's that was like one of the reasons why I did child development and from there like college my opinion that obviously um influenced what subjects I took so I did um health and social care in college um psychology and sociology and I actually took four subjects and then like a side one I took was just accounting just for no reason I didn't know that. Dang. I did and I got a U, you guys. <laughs> I'll turn right there. Get it, get it, get it. I got a U or like an F or something. Okay, I'll come Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. It was, it, it's the exam, guys. Like, I, oh, I used to really fail at exams. I'm not an exam person. I'd I'm rather not. do the coursework and assignments, but exam, I just cannot yeah. do it. That's oh, shut why. up, guys. You got good grades in No, no, no. <laughs> that's, probably like, why, speaking, oh, yeah. that's probably why, like, middle of it. Master's opening, of course, it's fashion, branding, and marketing, but mm. it's a lot to do. It's not nothing course. to do with exam. Okay? Yeah. It's mainly course related. Uh-huh. So I can do that, so, but not exam. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, like, first year, uh, I I actually went to two different colleges. So, first year... Uh, Mate, I went into sixth form, which was like Amro School Batakote pathway. You could like choose like what colleges you wanted to go to from your school. So I chose sixth form because like it was very close to our um home, and you like parents will always say like, oh, choose something that's closer to your home. And but everything. it's also like one of the top. Right? It's yeah, one top of the school. top. So like um during the year, <laughs> I actually found it really difficult with like all my subjects. Um and taking that into account, I did very badly in most of the subjects <laughs> so out of the four subjects i totally failed accounting psychology and sociology wasn't great and then health and social care just because the reason that it saved me was because 80 percent was coursework, coursework based yeah. and 20 percent mm. was um exam that is the only reason that kept me afloat and like the reason that it allowed me to go into second year but like when i went to the second year um I dropped accounting totally, and then for some reason, I picked up English language. Uh, language, language. Yeah. Yeah, English just, language. Just, just as a because, side subject, oh. because I wanted to try something different from what I already had. Yeah. But uh, during that year, it didn't work, so I was like, you know what? <laughs> it's too um, difficult for me. Like, I can't do the exams. Like, I'm not getting anywhere, and it's just making me feel shit <laughs> so like i left six form and i went to a different college which was um with um uh, left yeah. me okay. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I <laughs> left her. can i just say i think that's the difference between your uni because the uni that sh- her and you went to surumato college college six form, six form was like oh area okay, oh top university <laughs> top college blah 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 yeah. i didn't go to the uni I didn't go to that college. I went to like Mary Amri school group college. School and I think yeah. the main difference is that top ones up, but then top like say of course they're gonna bring everyone mm. in. Last night I say top 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 those are the like or like Whereas yeah. my college that I went to, it was a very small college. So I'm um, like class the health and social care, we had like seven people. Mm. Yeah. And it was really good because you can really like get that one to one with the teacher again. That's I think the main difference mm. they're gonna right now. Like yeah, especially six form college, how they um structure um or like <laughs> class oh i need to get after like show going to get like oh, you put it out there put yourself out there 
oh my god what is the word and oh showcase how like the college <laughs> showcases itself is like um it's a university feel kind of college for students so it's basically trying to get you ready ready, ready. ready and prepared for like the upcoming um yes. years for your education, <laughs> for education for the education but like at 16 not everyone is ready for that and yeah. so like you go from like having eight classes or like six classes in school being in a room of like i don't know like with a lot of your friends school ma like and any chill classes to like a very strict environment yeah. and i think it's very difficult for a lot of people to kind of follow that and that's probably why i found it difficult as well maybe like there was no alikati one to one but nete no like it was just like bang 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 there's like here you go do it do it and then like you have this set amount of time to complete it and then like of course like the te- teachers would say like oh if you need any help come see me but like i think mm, comparing yourself to like the other students that were there you kind of feel like oh like but she's not asking for help even if she's strong so mm-hmm. why should i this the one you won't take so maybe that's why like i never ask for help as well Okay, I think I'm talking way too much just on that. Um, what okay, and then I went on to do a level 3 health and social care diploma course in Pharmatech. I did that for 2 years and then um I finished it. Um which is all um course work work based. No. <laughs> exams. Oh my god. Which is why I got a good grade. Yeah. <laughs> then my GCSE. <laughs> so, it was um very uh, re- it was very relaxed and like the teachers were like very chill yeah. and like It was they were like very approachable okay, like um did you get that more of a one to one as well yeah like and then you like they were so much more easier to approach and like th- it wasn't like very strict it was like a bit more casual relaxed kind of environment okay? mm-hmm. um and then um so uh i applied to uni i think i got offers from like all five but um, Dang, i think i declined one because like it was just too far mm-hmm. to travel to like interview the non unions and like i mm. don't want to be like spending my money oh you didn't time. go interview me going yeah, like, i think it would amount i think i declined it and then okay. um, the other four i think i did go on one of them i did fail like the math exam i think <laughs> i think it was hard for chaco other the math or the english yeah. and even the le- <laughs> uh, anyway yeah so that didn't work out and then um the other three oh yeah i did get into like box as well mm-hmm. but i chose not to go because that it was quite far and then at the very end i ended up choosing sorry um because um i did get through for it as well and again and the option top. was close to home <laughs> and top of the wasn't a uh, sorry like uh the third top in the uni- uh, uk for, for nursing. nursing yeah, yeah third so or something it was my <laughs> i didn't go in there and especially like <laughs> back at the time you know um so i kind of just went in with that so like oh it's you know close to home mm-hmm. i can just travel from home so i did that and then um It was good. Not going to say that it wasn't. I quite liked it. The placement yeah. uh was okay. It was good as well, but um I think I was a bit sad because like um I never got to do like the hospital placement which I always looked forward to. Oh. Because like my exam was in like I think December ka time tira thi wala na and at that time I was on my first placement which was I did in like Aldershot Go Hospital ma. Um and then like the for oh yeah so the first exam was like around december time and then like february january february january mate the results came out and then like i failed and then like the receipt wasn't like the uh receipt say february kita march mate yeah i did the receipt and then failed again mm. and i was like oh is it God. was it because it's exam based yeah or? so it was exam and you know like i i just can't do exams so it was so <laughs> difficult year. and like i actually on like the second um receipt i thought oh i think i did good enough to at oh, least no. because the pass mark was like 40% okay? uh-huh. so i was like you know what they did point the gory or that one there and like i was trying to like not put myself down too yeah. much and then like not think about it but then like um i got the email okay? and they were like oh like um i'm really sorry da, 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 but like you have not met like the criteria and da, 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 for this course um and like at that time i was still on my first placement mm-hmm. and they told me like i just had to leave okay? <gasps> Shit. so i was like oh Dang. my god like what should i do like what am i gonna tell my mentor at like the placement what shall i say i mean i think like the next day i just didn't go 
oh. to my placement and I think I just called in to say that oh, I'm not going to be able to come in or like I didn't call at all yeah. and then like a few days later I went to uh, at the placement I went to see my um, mentor again I told her oh this has happened I, I'm not going to be able to continue anymore like thank you for the opportunities this mm. is the one again and uh, so yeah that's the story wait and how did your know. parents take that how did you tell your parents about like that you know then? what like the december go exam and initially like i already knew like the exam didn't go great mm-hmm. so i kind of told them look i don't think i did great and i have a reset coming up so even if in the reset that i do feel like please don't be disappointed mm-hmm. oh, because like pre- i was already <laughs> yeah i already i was already disappointed at myself enough but like I felt like I needed to give them the heads up as yeah. well, you know. So um, I kind of just let them know and then like keep them in that loop. And um, yeah, and I kind of stopped going to uni after mm. March, I think, or just around. It was like the first quarter of the year anyway. Yeah. Um. So like after dropping out from uni, um, for a few months as well, like I just kind of wandered around. I didn't really do much. Um, what do you mean by wandering around? <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't want to commit to like studying or like a commit to like a, f- a full time job at yeah. that time. So I was just like taking my time because um I think I was quite upset that I didn't pass it, and a part of me was like in denial that oh I'm actually not in uni anymore, yeah. and like um. I kind of thought about like, oh, maybe I should just apply next year to Kolagi in like different uni. But then like, I think I got a lot traumatized by the whole situation that I never got around to like um, applying or going into uni again. Like so you everything thought... became a bit way too complicated okay? but at that So stage. you know how you said you thought about maybe applying next year, but yeah. did you ever consider maybe applying to a different course that doesn't really base it on exam? Um, no, I didn't actually think about that. But like, um, in your research, everyone out there, <laughs> advice from us. But like, Teddy Belaze, what I did was like, you know, okay, I failed it, and that's fine. Um, I just went back to my part time job. Mm-hmm. I did that, and then like a few months later, I, and then he kind of told myself, okay, if I still want to do something in this like field of work, then I need to do something related to it. Mm-hmm. So I um got into um working for. Um, a health care, uh, health, a residential care home. Mm-hmm. So I uh, worked there for like two years. Um, I, like at first, like I thought, oh, okay, you know what, I can do it. Like I can get back to it just the last day. Now, but then, like as Rasmita said, it now, like the more you work there, the more you kind of feel like, oh, it's not what I want to do. <laughs> Especially when you think of it as a career, it's a long term yeah. thing that you yeah. commit to. Yeah. And it kind of like put me off as well like that kam card I was like nah like maybe it was because the experience was bad as well at that certain um trauma eh? so like it kind of put me off so I'm like no I'm, I don't want to do that so I left that work as well I worked there for like two years and I went back to my part-time job which I had still held on to um because you know I didn't want to like completely shut out and then like be jobless yeah. <laughs> so kind of playing smart there <laughs> so I went back to that job and uh, this is see I started working full-time and now I am just part of the management team there and that's it you know how we said earlier we should do an advice video maybe you can as a manager go position my I guess somebody who looks out to the team Maybe we should do a video where you give us advice, I guess, to I'll the try. employees. <laughs> Tips and tricks. How about that? We I'll do try. That. I'll try. Yeah. But I think, like, yeah, that's from our experiences, the four of us, mostly talking about what we went through and what didn't work, what we tried. Hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. The main thing, I guess, is, like, do your research. <laughs> that's yeah. all. I think, yeah, that's what I would say to myself, the younger self, if I had, like, Obviously, if I could go back in time, I'd be like, do your research. Because I was like, oh, nursing, that's the only option. Yeah. yeah, like, that's for me as well. Like, I didn't see, like, or, like other careers except for that. Mm. And I think also because, like, I'm um, the older generation, funny, they didn't have a lot of choices or, like, people were not going into, like, different fields of work. Mm. Yeah. And the, it was just, it's, like, it was a closed kind of like, off... Or oh, unis are or nothing. Okay? Yeah, like, yeah. We didn't know about it. There other yeah. options that was out there. But like for like the younger generations, you see them going into so many different fields, and it's so great to see so that. So many entrepreneurs nowadays. Yeah, I and love like, it. Didn't you, like at Pola Pola, it used to be like, oh, 
you ni go in any component or whatever. Mm. But like I think especially like a Bogura perspective part of the say, you know, college uh college socket is uh you don't have to go to uni, you can do any so apprenticeship mm. you can go into like higher positions and that. Like I never kind of thought I about didn't. it. Yeah. This the route yeah. available to exist even, from, okay. even I think some even the, for, if you work your even yeah, come go go even so yeah. many people you have got yeah. Your, like even Mirakam my like um they're there are like sixteen year olds that work there, like mm. like Monday to Friday. Like sometimes, and, yeah, like call get a school sock in a bit Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I've seen like um yeah. young kid, young. I don't want to say kids. <laughs> young adults just go straight into work, and that's not bad either. Like yeah. if you see yourself being building a career, like a stable career, then go for it. Like you should have like that option to do yeah. it. Yeah, you will not be in debt as well. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So like you know, um, you know, obviously university, Jane, blah blah blah, stuff mm. like that. Yeah, I was thinking like obviously I didn't get into the uni. I was thinking last month going like everyone's gonna work anyway, so I might as well start now. Head start. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Morning. Oh, another thing that I want to say is, of course, with my experience, like, I went into nursing thinking, like, oh, instead of what if, when it, oh, I'll just give it a shot, and that didn't work out, and then I thought, okay, I don't want to waste a year, don't be afraid to take the year off, because, yeah. like, instead, if there's a passion for you to and go back into education, then you will get there, okay, don't rush yeah. into it, and another thing is, like, because I rushed into it, and I went to study, about a different course study, going to go in, and end of the first year, when you went in, notice great thing, like, oh, this wasn't for me, but I don't want to disappoint my parents, like, don't think like that, you got it, you're going to come to like three years and then be mm. like where I am at the moment <laughs> so don't be afraid to I guess once you've dropped out once don't be afraid to drop out again if it's not for you mm. and definitely yeah just talk to your parents they'll understand at the end of the day yeah. so it's I all about also, trials and errors yeah that's life yeah. basically <laughs> yeah also the what the reason another reason why I dropped out was like when parent I talked with my parents about it and then they were like it's okay you can come home like take a gap year and stuff like that mm. and then you can always go back which I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. They're not gonna do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean, that they're, was... they're understanding, yeah. Mm. Yeah, for the viewers out there, like, it's never too late. Just keep trying. Yeah. Only like, because, like, with nursing, you know, like, I've heard stories like universities, other headed, like, there's people like in their 30s, 40s. Like yeah. literally the first, yeah. uh, first that week of definitely yeah. the first their course I guess yeah first week of nursing ma day no like literally we were like I think I'm a class one maybe twenty twenty five people were there no and then the teacher said one by one like introduce yourself your age yeah. you know blah blah blah. Um, I was sitting next to this lady and I thought my young looking and then she goes hi my name is da 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 I'm 48 years old and I was like what and then at that time obviously I was 18 so I said oh my name is Borsha I'm 18 blah, blah, blah. so she was like oh my god you're like my kids go age mm. so she was literally like my mom go age <laughs> but yeah don't be afraid it's never too late and so you yeah. just I mean, possibly got who knows, like, if we're probably, like, 35 by then, mm. oh, we want to go into study, yeah. but you can still go. That's yeah. what I always think, like, at this point of time, like, I don't see myself, like, uh, committing to uh, studying, mm. but it is, like, at the back of my mind, like, maybe Boli Parsi, there will be, like, an, a subject that I really do want to do, and then mm. maybe in the future that I will do it, Bonira, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you've got your whole life to think about it. Yeah. I mean, everyone has get in their own time, I guess. Yes. yes. That's the thing. You might be slow, you might be fast, but you will end up there. Yeah. Yeah. One main important thing, which I guess we're all trying to do constantly, is like not to compare ourselves to other people. Mm. Like, yo, of course, it's about me. It's especially there's people out there who's got like full time job and know what they're doing. Yeah. Just because like you don't know what you're doing, don't like beat yourself up for it, and definitely don't compare yourself to them. Uh, your time will come, as Joel said. So. Do you know, I think KFC go owner her knee. Mm. Um, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no, like, I read it somewhere. Like, he only, like, the KFC or whatever, it only went popular or he only started his business business venture when he was 70, Koti. Mm. So, it was like, when he was 70, don't quote me on this. So, yeah, 70, Pukesi Matra, he basically boy it was laggy yeah. so I mean of course that's a bit too late like not a bit too late oh my god that sounds really bad but basically your time is coming okay yeah also oh, artist are okay? huh. like you know you hear all the stories like they they're not famous when they're doing the paintings yeah. and stuff yeah. they get famous after they've passed, died, away. Yeah. passed away and stuff like look how popular they are like Mona Lisa and all that 
I don't know. Was it, were, was he no. popular then? When he was alive, I don't know. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> uh, wrong person to ask. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Everyone is like running their own race, mm-hmm. but you will get to the finish line. Just stick to it. Just stick to it. Maybe we will one day as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, Maybe yeah. we'll know what we're doing in our lives one day. So, but yeah. Maybe in a few years' time, you'll just see all of us in like different roles, different okay. <laughs> careers. You never know. Yeah. And then it'll fail and be like, why it fails second time around? <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, yeah, should we wrap, wrap that up? just a, a roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Let's wrap it up then. Yeah. Yeah, what is it started with? No, 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 that was a roller coaster. Girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. come on yeah. now. <laughs> it looked like this gift from my vision. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, let's so wrap it up. That has been our experience on education and career. Um, anything else you guys want to add? No. Um, oh, sh- share it. <laughs> comment down below and share your stories as well yeah, yeah would love to know yeah mm. okay so that's it for today's episode <laughs> thanks for bye guys so, thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment, comment down, down below, below. adios bye. amigos bye whoa that's one hour whoa. 70 minutes <laughs>